day 11 here. I'm going to talk a little bit about and read a poem called Infant Sorrow by William Blake, who was a 18th century subversive, visionary, kind of nutty poet. Um, and the reason I want to share this poem with you, there's, there's two reasons. The first is um, I just love uh, the images in this poem. There's a moment in the poem where he describes a baby wrapped really tight in a blanket as a fiend hid in a cloud. And if you think about a baby that's crying all wrapped up uh, in a Snuggie or in a blanket or something, it could really seem like a little fiend hiding in a cloud um, yelling. So the first time I read this poem in college, that image really um, struck me. Um, but what struck me even more um, and the reason I love this poem to this day and really wish that I had read it in high school is because the first time I read it, I thought, oh, now somebody is really telling the truth about being alive. <laughs> because um, sometimes being born can feel like um, a terrible thing <laughs> that has happened. And, you know, this is because the world is hard. It's really hard to have to figure out how to negotiate love and money and ambition and what do I going to do with my life and emergencies and politics and family life and the whole thing. Sometimes being a person in the world can just seem really overwhelming. And usually when we encounter art that involves babies it's like babies joy cute you know and yes babies are pretty cool but what i love about this poem is that it's from the point of view of a baby that has just been born and is like Rawr. okay <laughs> so here is infant sorrow by william blake my mother groaned my father wept into the dangerous world I leapt, helpless, naked, piping loud, like a fiend hid in a cloud. Struggling in my father's hands, striving against my swaddling bands, bound and weary, I thought best to sulk upon my mother's breast.